Oh, yeah, look at that. Woo!
Oh, man, that's a lot of work. I'm still not done. <laughs> it's time to take a break, have a little water, and maybe a little beef snack. <sighs> it's supposed to snow, I think, through the night. At least I think that's what it's supposed to do. I'll check the forecast later. Ooh, oh, that smells good. Oh, that's what I needed. A little pick-me-up. All right, so we are currently sitting at 15 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative nine degrees Celsius. And it's supposed to get really cold tonight. I think the low is gonna be eight degrees. And uh, we're supposed to have snow throughout the night. So we're, we could be looking at quite a bit. I don't know though how much, but we're gonna be getting snow. So I have this new stove that I wanted to show you guys. It is the Winterwell oven stove. And this thing is really cool. I've used it already. And uh, I actually baked cookies in it. <laughs> but I've got some other things we're gonna try out tonight and I think it's gonna be really good. As long as I can uh, maintain the oven temperature. <laughs> so now we gotta go out there, bear the elements for a little bit longer and process some wood. And then we can fire it up and get it nice and toasty in here.
I think this tree might still be alive actually even though it's bent over like it is it's kind of weird but it's definitely still got some green green to it so I don't know I think it's too cold for that lighter. All right, we've got the fire going now. Hopefully it'll heat it up in here. We're sitting at 13 degrees Fahrenheit and that is negative 10 Celsius. That's outdoors. Sorry, that's outdoors. Indoors, it's 32 degrees. That would be the lower one. And it is zero degrees Celsius. It's still really cold in here. Um, so we'll see what we can get these uh, temperatures to rise to. I don't know. You can usually cook yourself out in a hot tent. <laughs> it gets hot. So we'll let the fire heat up the oven there and then uh, we'll start to cooking. All right, here's what's for dinner. Woo! 
It is a very thick ribeye steak. Oh man. I hope I can cook this up in that oven. It's gonna be very tasty if I can. Man, that looks delicious, doesn't it? Man, I'm really excited for it. So right now I'm really just waiting on the oven to get really hot. I'm looking for at least a temperature of around 500 degrees so that I could sear this. Um, and then I'm hoping that I'll be able to drop the temperature down. Man, that looks good. <laughs> smells good too. So I've got butter, garlic, uh, onion powder, salt, pepper, rosemary, and thyme on there. And that will be very good if I can get this thing dialed in. So we're just waiting for the oven and once the oven's ready to go, we'll slap her in there. So it's really actually getting pretty hot in here. We're at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 20 degrees Celsius. And it is cooking, cooking, cooking. I also have my fan up top that's kind of pushing the air down and I've never had that before. And it's working really well. It's gonna be hot in here. All right, so we're gonna be using a meat thermometer. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the probe in and we'll get her in the oven. Hopefully that'll go in there. Just fine. So the oven is currently at like 350. Um, I don't know that I can get it much hotter than that right now. So I'm just gonna get started on this. All right. I'll go ahead and toss that in there. Perfect. And then close the door. We'll just watch the temperature and get it to where that sweet spot is. Ooh, that's hot. I need like two gloves. I need to rotate it because I believe this side is a lot hotter, obviously. So I'll have to rotate it every once in a while. Oh man, that smells good already. It smells really good. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I hope it doesn't take too long because I think it's already like, I don't even know, probably like seven o'clock in the evening. So with our steak, we're gonna also try to cook up some I've got mashed potatoes in here and we've got some rolls. And then for dessert, can't forget dessert, we've got cookies. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. That looks gorgeous. I think we're ready. Just set her right on top of here for right now. Oh yeah. Okay. Tent that up real quick. All right, for our biscuits real quick, cook them up. I'm gonna do this properly this time. <laughs> <laughs> that startled me. 
Oh man, we've got some nice looking biscuits right there. Look at those. All right, let's take one. I'm just gonna do two of them. This is way too much food already, but. All right, they're ready for the oven. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this up to top. Because I'm gonna put my mashed potatoes down there right before I'm ready. But for now, here we go. Man, it's like an easy bake oven for adults. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, they're looking good. Look at those things already. Wow. All right, let's take a look at those biscuits. Oh, it's getting a little toasty there. That one's probably perfect. All right. Our taters are done. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, like I said, there's no way I'm going to be able to eat this whole thing. <laughs> oh, look at that, though. Biscuit. I'm not going to be able to butter it right now. I didn't bring it. But they kind of already have honey and butter on them already. And our mashed potatoes. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this time, Lord. I, I thank you for the snow. It's, it's definitely beautiful. It's cold outside, but Lord, I just praise you in all things. I thank you for this food. I pray you'll bless it to my body. And Lord, as we look to a new year here, I pray that uh, you will just guide me, direct me, and just uh, light my path. Lord, I just continue to pray for this world. I pray that we will just get back on track. We will seek you in everything we do. I thank you and love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that steak. <laughs> and mashed potatoes and biscuits. Oh, man. This is a meal fit for multiple people. All right, here we go. See how we did. It smells awesome. Oh, yeah, right where I like it, right where I like it. That's my kind of bite right there, my kind of bite. Mmm, that's awesome. And for the mashed potatoes, oh, those are good. They're just an instant mashed potatoes, so they're real easy to do, but bake them with a little bit of cheese. Let's take a look at that biscuit. Oh, yeah, flaky. Got a little crunchiness to it, I'm sure. That's a good meal right there. Real good meal. All right, so we've got our cookie here. Nice and easy. We'll just do six of them. I don't think they're going to be very big. All right. Now, right into the oven. Whoo, that's hot. Don't touch that. <laughs> All right, while we wait for those cookies, we're gonna do mail call. And basically, it's just uh, some of the stuff you guys have sent me. I just kinda wanna show you guys. <laughs> this is a card from Fonzo. Thank you, brother. It's a Christmas card. And it's got a very nice message in it. So thank you, Fonzo. Also, Fonzo sent me this beef jerky that I was snacking on. And this stuff is awesome. 
This is really good. Mahogany smoked meats. Definitely delicious. Like really good. Thank you, Fonzo. That is awesome. All right, what else we got? We've got another card from Sherry Phillips. Nice little Christmas card. Very beautiful. Thank you, Sherry. That's so cool. I love hearing from you guys from all over the place. Um, next up is... Kara Jennings. She sent me some paintings. Look at this. <laughs> Two really cool paintings. Good job, Kara. I hope I'm saying your name right. Kara or Kara, I'm not sure. One of the two. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. You did a great job. Very good. And you've inspired me to actually do a little more painting. <laughs> and then we've got... This is awesome. This was sent to me by Andre. And it is a rabbit hat. A rabbit fur hat. And this thing is super warm. Super warm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Man, I'll be able to withstand all types of temperatures with this hat. It's kind of like having earmuffs on because I can barely hear. <laughs> Thank you, Andre. You're awesome, man. I'm going to be wearing this thing. I didn't want to wear it uh, today while I was hiking around because I knew I was just going to sweat a bunch, but I will definitely be taking this on some cold adventures. <laughs> so thank you so much. So if any of you guys want to send me anything, uh, there's a P.O. box that you can send it to, and uh, I'll leave it down below in the link. Um, but yeah, you guys want to shoot me a letter, uh, send me anything you want, you want to see it on the, the channel or whatever, uh, just send it my way. I just like to share those things with you guys. I think it's really cool um, connecting with you and and yeah, so just thank you so much guys. You're awesome. All right, we better check those cookies before I burn them. Oh, they look like they're getting somewhere. <laughs> Might need to heat it up a little more. Well, I done. Oh, those are done. Look like some nice cookies. Nice, fresh, hot cookie right there. Oh, it's nice and soft too. I bet it's gonna be crunchy and chewy. Mmm. That's the way to make a cookie. It's like an art, you know, crunchy but chewy at the same time. <laughs> oh man, I was uh, tidying up around here and I forgot that there was one more package. And this is from J-Dub's Adventures. He sent me out some stickers as well as a cool little uh, metal doohickey thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I can use it for. Maybe put it on your keychain. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Thanks, J-Dub. Go check out his channel, you guys. He's got some great content there. So yeah, definitely do that. Thanks for the stickers, buddy. Got a sit up bed real quick. I've got my uh, reflective tarp down. Got one sleeping pad there. It's a foam one. And then I got an air mattress one here. Usually works pretty good together. All right, for our sleeping bags, I'm gonna double them up because it's gonna be so cold and I'm probably not gonna be using the wood all night because it just becomes a hassle and I'd rather just sleep. 
So you always want to have a good sleep system. And I found that if you pair two bags together, it works really well. Just throw that one right inside that one. You're all set. There we go. And then you want a nice solid pillow. You don't want to be using an air pillow during the winter. You got to have that insulation. I almost forgot I got to set up the trail cam. I think we're just going to go just over here close. Real close to the tent. Okay. Cold. Very cold. Since the trail cam's all set up, we'll take a look at it. So here we are. We'll hit record, see what it looks like. <laughs> there we are. You can see the flicker of the, uh, the fireplace. Hello. Hi. All right, I don't think we'll see anything. We won't see anything at all. I just don't, don't think it'll happen. So we are sitting at 55 degrees Fahrenheit right now inside. It's 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And we're looking at negative 12 Celsius and 13 degrees Celsius indoors. Um, the fireplace is now roaring really good. Uh, it kind of died down there for a little bit. So I'm sure it'll be a lot warmer here in just a few few seconds so yeah we're at 57 degrees inside now all right you guys that's gonna be it for me tonight i will see all of you in the morning good night Good morning. It's cold, you guys. It's really cold. It's uh, five degrees Fahrenheit, which is 50, negative 15 degrees Celsius. And we got really cold last night. Um, we got down to negative two Fahrenheit, and which is negative 19 Celsius. Oh, it got really cold. Oh, it's time to start this fire so I can warm this place up, get some breakfast, and get out of here.
water's on to boil for coffee, life is good. <laughs> All right, let's go outside real quick and see what it looks like and retrieve that trail cam. Oh man, it's gorgeous out here. Very pretty. Oh, the sun feels so good. It's very peaceful right now. I can hear the birds. It's just very quiet. And the sun and coffee. <laughs> Very nice. Time to go warm back up in the tent and make some oatmeal. Something quick and easy. Cause I gotta pack up and get out of here. It's a nice looking oatmeal. It's like 
blueberry muffin or something like that. We'll give her a shot. Mm. Wow. That is tasty. Mm. Yeah, it's called Better Oats and it is blueberry muffin. It's got flaxseed, instant oatmeal with flaxseed. <laughs> and that's really good. Well, unfortunately, I didn't catch anything on the trail cam. I didn't think I was going to. There's just not a whole lot of activity out here. And I know what I need to do. I need to get a second one. And we'll put it out, like, in the woods somewhere. So that's going to be the plan. I'll, I'll get a second one of these. This one will watch the tent. And then we'll have one that we can kind of put out there. Um in specific locations like if we see tracks or anything like that maybe we can catch something but that's what we'll do in the future that'll be the future Oh, that's a terrible noise. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I'm gonna hike out of here, get home, probably have something warm to drink, <laughs> and relax. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. God bless, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, if I can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>